Hi Aries, if you want to come on in, take a look at your ink blot. Woo. Feel free to take a screenshot so you can scribe for any shapes or symbols that speak to your psyche and psychic senses. And I'm going to dig in here, Aries, and we're going to explore your abstract aura. Oh, excuse me. And see if any spirit messages step forward for you. Uh, oh, interesting. I'm seeing like... um. Oh, okay. I'm seeing a spider and I'm hearing mother, Aries. Spider and mother. So I don't know if you have a mother in spirit and or you're working currently with uh, mother maiden crone, your mother energy and or you have a mother here and you're working through um, or with that energy for something. But it feels very prominent. Uh, the mother big app and I'm seeing like the eggs here oh and then I'm also seeing a D for dad uh, something's being looked at very very closely like if I get my scryical here with the, the dad thing like this is how it looks um, I don't know Aries if you're looking at your lineage your genealogy your ancestry um, to beyond actually like your current, you know, parents, and you're looking a little bit beyond. Because I'm seeing something being um, researched and maybe even writing about if you're the one capturing or if somebody somewhere has something about your lineage and you're looking at it. You're looking at it. But something about the parents is blatantly coming through. In the Aryan energy um, it's wandering around your aura for one reason or another whether or not they're whoops alive or alive in another realm it's still, there's still something in there I'm not I can't quite place of what I'm seeing so maybe it'll come through I feel like if somebody's becoming a mother congratulations Congratulations. I'm seeing a, a baby dinosaur. Oh, what is that? Um, patience. Patience if you're trying to get pregnant and become a mother or a father. Uh, it's like a door, door to personal happy and healing, healing from a broken heart. There might have been a uh, miscarriage before or a passing and for that condolences but if that doesn't resonate it's um, a patience in regards to being patient with your parents being patient with your parents oh I don't know if it it's an ostrich. Ostrich. That symbology may mean something to someone. An ostrich. There's a chance it could also be a peacock, but I keep keep hearing um, ostrich. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how else to to confirm to myself. That's what I'm what I'm seeing. What else do I have here? I'm seeing somebody like yelling at their dad. Like, ah, you're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. So there might be a disconnect with the dad or the uh, father figure. What, what came through here? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Seven of Wands. Yeah, there was some sort of boundary or disconnect that was put up. I feel like you were very patient about it and the Empress and you took back something that you felt was held up in that in that line of your lineage. Wow, that is incredible. Yeah, I, I kind of want to revisit that if you're resonating with that, Arians. Um, I feel like you're very patient. You're like, but you know what? It's time. Um, I just feel like it's in regards to that disconnect. 
What else is going on in the Aryan energies? That baby dinosaur. I do feel like it's if somebody's trying to get pregnant. It's coming. It's coming. Patience. Patience. Six of Swords and the High Priestess is coming through. Arians. I don't know if the camera let it. <laughs> There's a turtle in the hair. Um, there is some healing. I don't know if there's healing in the, in the body. It's coming slow and steady. It's coming. It's almost as if it, um, Arians, if you're working something in that lineage and ancestor, the soul that is ready, uh, preparing to step forward and be born when, uh, very quickly, <laughs> very quickly, um, but like there's something in regards to healing the the lineage that they're going to be lined in for and you're doing what you can and through that healing like even if it's just of the mind and of relationships and disconnecting and reconnecting type feel even if they're in spirit and talking with them and kind of releasing the, the, the binds and putting up boundaries that will create space for for the soul to come forward. I'm also seeing somebody might be a widow. King of Cups. If somebody is a widow in the Aryan energy. I feel like if you are a widow, it is a female that passed on. Yeah, uh, it is the female that is in the light. Mm. And she misses you. She misses you. She writes to you. She writes like letters from her heart. It's almost like I can see the male waiting to hear from her or see her or feel her again. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, she holds you so, so dear. And she does. A uh, high priestess coming in. The high priestess is coming in to support this. I, I feel like her passing might have been, been young. Like um, a young woman, young mother, a young wife, partner, the Saturday, the other Aryans. Okay, so I'm hearing also another storyline. So Aryans, if you felt at some point in time, oh, there we go. This was you, like uh, something in regards to the parents. Or maybe just uh, experiences growing up. I feel like you're at the queen, the queen now. You, you've you turned things around. You've turned things around. And it's almost like you can look back or look at these different things that kind of come at you from, from the DNA of it all or the experiences, the um, this, that, or the other. And you kind of, don't run away, but you're like, you can't catch me anymore. You can't catch me. Turtle in the hair. The hair has already run the race. The turtle's uh, coming or vice versa. You've been doing this slow and steady that you, you have or will win the race. And the hair is, is going to cross the finish line with you. Like those two energies. Something about also Arians, the perception of like, is this happening fast or slow, fast or slow? Uh, they in different respects, in different perspectives, they're happening exactly how they should be. Hmm. I'm seeing Arian's uh, a punk rock possum. A punk rock possum. <laughs> right in here. There you go. Punk rock possum. And then see this heart in here. 
healing has been done, Arians. Healing has been done. I'm also seeing a cold beer or a root beer, like a float. Uh, it feels enjoyable. Uh, the heart space feels enjoyable. And these wands, you might have been working a lot with wands lately because the seven of wands came through, the eight of wands came through, and you've also got swords. So there is some cutting away or disconnecting or in that widow space, somebody was con disconnected from you and you're working through that, you know, turtle in the hair uh, to kind of uh, get back together again or communicate. Um, but I'm seeing this being lifted, like uh, a prying at your heart. But this almost kind of feels like you. Uh, I'm also seeing a ferret. I don't know if that symbology means anything to anyone, a ferret. I feel like at some point in time, it's bringing me back to the tortoise and the hare. There was like a wily time where... You might have been slithering around things, moving really, really quickly, um, kind of unseen. And maybe even the way you were going about things or saying things were perceived as like a nuisance or that's how they were received because they were moving differently. And like you're not moving like the rest of the family or you're not doing things the same way your work does or everybody else at work or everybody else, blah, blah, blah. This makes me feel like you might have had that wily time and now things are slowing down a little bit and you're uh, wiser for it, really. You're wiser for it because it proved really, really useful. It, it told you information. It, I'm seeing your heart like the... Uh, oh. Hmm. Ark of the Covenant, I think it is. Precious. Your heart space is precious real estate. Precious real estate. And um, what that encompasses is I'm actually seeing a heart growing again. Something's um, healing. And I don't mean healing like in the floofy sense. I mean, um, it's I, I don't know how to say that. It's like I can see the heart exposing itself again. It's like I'm seeing um, a silk nightgown or shirt sliding off. If this is in regards to grief of the pet or person of the widow, but even I, I feel like it relates in, in a lot of spaces of disappointments from, not disappointments, I'm not trying to be nasty Nelly, because again, it's just how they're received and perceived, right? Uh, challenging dynamics between parents and having to disconnect. It's also a different animal and they don't know what it's called. It's almost like a skunk squirrel, a skunk squirrel. A punk rock possum. All right, let's add on a few more Tarot and Oracle cards here for the Arians and uh, see what else comes through. I feel like your back is starting to feel better. Um, this turtle shell from the tortoise, I'm seeing it on the back of this skunk squirrel. It's very light. The shell, like, takes... The shell of this wisdom takes no more or less energy, Arians, please, um, to carry like a backpack. Okay, uh, I'm also seeing somebody setting up like two sticks and there's somebody else coming through. It's almost like if you're starting a fire and you're setting up like the cooking a cooking thing like a contraption for cooking this feels like a fire and somebody else is coming in and, and like um, trying to get it going for you like whoosh, whoosh. and you're like no no <laughs> it's okay it's okay I'm just trying to get this thing up they're like but no, I want to I want to get your fire going for you like they're very eager around you eager they might have gray hair 
Uh, it does feel like a couple, like a couple energy. Like, again, it could be friends, platonic, a, a kinship. Okay, and then now I just saw the ink transforming. She, and she or he, the first one who's holding like the cooking contraption, but I'm seeing it as like an A-frame. And so maybe you could be building a house or you're cooking up something in the kitchen or a new career, whatever the channels may be for you personally, Arians. But I'm seeing this A, A for Aryan energy and like uh, holding that up pretty strong, like A plus for you. But somebody else is helping you. Um, could be a different sign, could be a different person, partner, like I said. But they're like on their hands and knees. It looks like they're trying to get the, the, the fire going for you, for this creation. Symbolic fire, of course, uh, to get the creation going. There's something in the bottom of your feet. I, or, um, I don't know. Lord of Oppression. Okay, so perfect timing. Okay, whatever. It says it's the Ten of Wands. More Wands. Um, Lord of Oppression. So this is landing in line like with all the wands we've had. They've been escalating because you've been almost like stepping into the escalation of all these as you've been like diving in and looking. Uh, going back to the beginning of like that, uh, of the scryical space. And now there's all these like A-frames and you're creating your own A-frame. And sorry, so I was brought back to your feet and your feet have this, um, Arians, this lightness underneath them. I don't know why I, that was asked to be turned over for a second, but I'm going to let that be. There's a lightness in the bottom of your feet because you're no longer walking uh, in any sort of what you may perceive. This isn't about blaming or putting or projecting out uh, to different people, places, or things. This is simply saying I was receiving them as uh, oppressive energies. And that is no more. Um, and again, that's not in an ego space. It is because the Aryans have worked through something. Uh, I actually want to say many things. Turtle in the hair, turtle in the hair. They, um, sorry, that was the five of swords. You moved through what made you feel, I'm going to say, small. Again, this isn't at the fault of anyone else. It served you to hermitize and illuminate the Empress energy, to put up your boundary, to be patient with yourself and other people. It's almost like you're trying to learn from other people learning in the same place you were. And you're like, hmm. But you had different teachers in different places. And when I say teachers, teachers and students, you as well. Different places at different times. Tortoise and the hare. There were times you had to wait for the teacher to come as it was slow. And then there was other times you were the teacher. And quickly students came to you. And then vice versa. Sometimes you were the teacher and students were slow to come. Do you see what I'm saying? And all these roles, people, jobs, careers, this, that, or the other. Um, none of it defeated you because it was teaching you almost like how to engineer your own A-frame for what you want. And it's not going to be able to be imposed upon. I just heard. Okay. Arians, Six of Swords. Lord, Lord of Earned Success. Let's see if... Okay, Lord of Earned Success. And Queen of the Thrones of Earth. Yes. Arians. May you feel the stability of your A-frame of abundance. Receive help. Tortoise in the hair. You might be with somebody or have friends, this, that, or the other. Again, that they do things differently than you. But you appreciate A. You appreciate that. Capital A. Your awareness, capital A, understands the value that you do things differently. Because you both have been through defeats and oppressive situations in within oneself of how it was perceived. And it's been transformed to different paces. And now the Aryan energy, whatever it is, that you are moving through and working towards, including moving through grief. It's earned success. 
earned success. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names, was that? The names will never hurt me. I can't remember. St something about sticks and <laughs> sticks and stones. You've taken them all for all these A-frames and you're going to put all these A-frames together. And if uh, you did have, if you are in the widow space, please know that the the work that you're you're going through and living through and that you're doing with your contemplations and your reflections and whatever it is that you're going uh, going to do to help move through it being a widow um because i do feel like it's it's the female in spirit and it's the male still here um know that she is she is working her energy to get closer to you so that you can sense her um and you will both reap reap the rewards of that. Have patience, time, tortoise in the hair. Things move faster where she is, uh, but it's translated slower to the earthly realm and then vice versa. Being earthly, we expect things really, really quickly. We move really, really quickly, but sometimes it's in the slower pace of things that we feel them. All right, Arians, this, this was a, a mixed media, multimedia message but i truly appreciate your time and space uh links below if you're interested in a personal rorschach and reading and all that kind of good stuff thank you and until next time